Hey guys, so I am on my way back from doing some errands. Um, I went to the bank and then um, I went to PetSmart to check out uh, hermit crab shells, which I was very disappointed. Um, they did have shells, but everything was smaller than what I needed. So then I went to just a pet supply place that doesn't have like pets at all except for like fish um, and I guess they did have some reptile they had a reptile room but um, that's about it um, they also did have hermit crabs um, but I did get a couple of shells from there spent seven dollars on two shells um, they're not fancy they're just white I'll show you here in a second um, obviously because I'm driving so I'm not going to show you right now. They're just white. They're not fancy. Not pretty. You know, they're just shells. But at this point I got to look beyond pretty and look beyond, you know, what they need um, for when they're ready to move out. So I got those. But I also got the recommendation from the cashier to try like craft stores like Michael's or Hobby Lobby or uh, something like that and look at their shelves. Um, so I'll probably do that, just not now. Um, but you guys, I just got back from where I work because I was like, well, I'm not going to get the other things that I need. I already knew they weren't going to have shelves the appropriate size, so I didn't even try work for that. But then when it came to the other supplies, I wanted to go to work and do it because I get a discount. So um, I just left there and it's ridiculous, you guys, but I saved more than I spent. No joke. So um, I spent $16 when, uh, and I saved $19. Like seriously, I got them a plant um, to suction to the side of the, uh, um, tank so that they can climb on that if they wish. I got them a bendy log bridge. They can climb on top of it, hide underneath it. Um, I still want to get them appropriate dishes instead of using like the Tupperware that I have, um, that I've been, that I'm using. But for right now, it works. I know they've used it because I've had to, I've already given them fresh fresh distilled water and fresh salt water, fresh salt water, um, clean, um, cause there was some um, dirt inside, which means they've gotten in, um, to drink or soak. So, um, it's, it's doable at this point. They did need a heat source because they're happiest. I've read, you know, with my research, they're, uh, happiest at a temperature between 72 and 80 degrees and I couldn't tell you at this point what their temperature is um, so I just want to make sure that they have the appropriate heating source so instead of an under tank heater that you don't want to put underneath because you don't want them to burn themselves um, I would put a sticky one on the side but rather than getting the sticky one I got a lamp um, I got a, uh, a lamp that I can sit on top or clamp to that'll point in. It's a blue light. The bulb is a blue light and the temperature is going to be 77 to 80 degrees. So they're happiest between 72 and 80. So 77 to 80 is going to be fine. Um, I can also turn it off at night. Um, it doesn't have to be on 24 seven. Um, which is actually what we do at work. Um, the, their heat lamp is on during the day. It's turned off at night. Um, so, and then of course, misting will help with the humidity. Not only do they need the temperature, they need the humidity. So the heat bulb is going to help with the humidity. Um, I will have to be more on top of keeping their substrate moist. I know a lot of people don't like that word, <laughs> but the heat lamp is going to dry out the substrate. So I will have to be more on top of misting and making sure that that humidity stays in there. So it's not just dry heat 
because they can um, suffocate if it's just dry heat. It needs they need to have the temperature, but they also need the humidity. So um, keeping keeping the substrate moist, um, having the heat lamp, uh, turn it off at night. <coughs> Even though I could keep it on at night, maybe I could keep it off during the day and turn it on at night because it is a blue light. So it'll be like having a, a night light, I guess. So I can also do that where I can have it off during the day but turn it on at night. Um, either way. But uh, yeah, and so I got them the plant, the heat lamp with the bulb. I got them. Uh, the bendy bridge that they can uh, climb on or hide under and seriously saved $19 only spent $16 I saved more than I spent that is awesome that's part of why I like working there because I have so many pets and I'm saving a good deal of money so yeah um, I was like holy crap because we have two surrendered rabbits and four surrendered guinea pigs now. I knew about the rabbits. The guinea pigs are since I worked. So since Sunday. And apparently one, at least one of the pigs, at least one of the piggies, has already been surrendered once. From what I've been told. It was She was surrendered once, um, adopted, and now she's being surrendered again. I don't understand. There are four of them. What I do like is that the store is only, you can get all of them with their cage or um, they'll only sell them in pairs. They will not sell them singly, um, which is good because they are social. Oh, I wanna go to, um, so I do like that. Not getting one for Bumble because they're females and he's not fixed and I guarantee you they're not and it is safer to neuter a male than to spay a female and I'm trying to save up money to get him his surgery I am not thinking about neutering him although if he's already put under might as well cut off his balls right <laughs> I wonder how much more that would they would charge me just to neuter him while he's already under um, but yeah so I'm super excited that I did not spend very much. I thought it was going to end up being more. We get good deals on some things with our discount and not so good deals with other things. But apparently, accessories are good deals. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I wanted to hear. I'm pulling into a parking place so I can show you their shells that I got. And I'll get other shells too because you want to give them more than one option. Here's the lamp, by the way. The lamp that I got. Um, the bulb that'll go in it. Their plant for climbing. Their bendy bridge. It'll bend so that they can uh, hide underneath or climb on it. And then from the other store, they're not spectacular shells, like I said. It's just white, just a white shell. Um, the other one is this one. Again, just white, nothing spectacular, but it'll serve its purpose. So that is my hermit crab haul for today. And it's always super cool when you save more than you spend. <laughs> so, yeah, I am going to treat myself right now to some hot Cheetos. So rather than going to the gas station, I am going into Kroger because it's cheaper. And uh, treat myself to some hot Cheetos and then go and uh, fix up, put the new shells in. After I boil them, you got to boil them free them of any bacterias and anything like that, dirt, um, boil them a little bit before you put them in. And then, so I'll put those in there and I'll put their plant in and I'll put you know, all that good stuff. So they have some more th things to do. So anywho, it's my little, I guess, hermit crab haul, I'll call it, 
for today and I hope you all have a great day.